Namaste beautiful yogis. Today's class is going to be a quick, intense, powerful impact vinyasa yoga sequence. It's designed to be somewhat quick and at the same time we're gonna boost our metabolism and get everything moving and get on with our day. The class is very energizing. I'm tempted to call it a coffee cup yoga class. Let's begin at the front of our mat. Feet are pointing directly forward. Inhale the hands over your head. Extend your tailbone down. You can arc here. And coming back to neutral spine, grabbing your wrist with the opposite hand and bending over to one side, side bends, reaching, switching sides and back to center and let's step onto the right foot and take a one-legged chair, go as deep as you can and push your hips as far back as you can, transition into warrior one, hips are square and level hands over the heart keeping the curve in the lower back flex your foot and transition into one-legged chair from here try not to touch the floor work with your balance chest is open back to warrior tree starting off a sequence with balancing poses brings your attention right here and now right now and back to chair, do your best. If you find that this is very challenging for you, just come back to this class a few times. Try to overcome your weaknesses. And back to warrior tree. Here we're gonna extend the hands down on the floor. Step your feet together, forward bend, interlacing the fingers behind the head and Gently pulling on the skin over your skull to stretch the neck. Hands on the floor, look ahead of you, flat back, inhale your hands all the way over your head. Arching, inhale back to neutral. And again, clasping the hands, side bends. Reaching over to one side, back to center, and over to the opposite side lengthening equally both sides of the torso and let's step onto the left foot and switch sit back one-legged chair belly is in chest is open shoulders down transition into warrior tree level the hips flex your foot press your heel away from you spin your right hip down and back to one-legged chair and warrior tree pull the belly in keep your chest open one-legged chair extending that right leg in front of you and last warrior tree keep your breath deep and slow and you can release the hands and the feet on the floor forward bend shaking your head looking left to right inhale look ahead of you and let's step into plank lower down chaturanga inhale upward facing dog roll the shoulders back and down and you can rock your hips side to side here looking over the right shoulder and over the left one more time shifting hips side to side back to chaturanga strong 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Spread your fingers wide open. Walking in place here, pull the belly in. And let's inhale the right leg up. We're gonna come into one legged plank, shoulders over the wrists. Lower down, one legged chaturanga, plank. One more time, chaturanga, plank. Third time, chaturanga, plank. And this time, circle the knee. Drawing a big circle with your right knee, staying in plank five times. Four, five. Side, knee tuck. Bring in the knee five times into your right elbow. And step your right foot between your hands, come up, high lunge, lowering the right knee down and going into a back extension. Left hand on the floor, lift your left knee off the floor and twist. Bring your right hand up and here we're gonna stack the feet on top of each other in side plank. Bring your hand behind your neck and let's do side knee crunches 10 all together side plank knee crunches keep your hips lifted here your arms strong shoulders strong belly strong and breathe exhale as you bring your knee into your elbow switch sides and you're gonna bring left knee to right elbow do your best here, keep your hips lifted, keep pulling your belly in, 10, 10 reps. And when you're done, you can come down to plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, back to chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog. Pull the belly in and up, lift your tailbone as high as you can, spread the fingers open, shoulders away from the ears, coming onto the tippy toes, jump into chair, sit as far back as you can and let's bring the hands behind us interlacing the fingers, lift your right shoulder up and look over your right shoulder, back to center and over to the left, the belly is in, knees, are square back to center chair hands down on the floor grabbing our calves forward bend inhale look ahead of you and let's jump or walk back to plank or chaturanga upward facing dog back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog Inhale, left leg comes up, one legged plank, chaturanga, plank, chaturanga, plank, and pushing up. And now knee circles, five knee circles, keep your belly in and your hips steady. And five, knee to elbow, left knee, left elbow, keep your belly in, keep your breath steady chest open and step your left foot between your hands come up high lunge and lower down the right knee on the floor going into crescent lunge let's bring the right hand on the floor left arm reaches up twist press the back heel away from you sink your hips a little lower and prepare to go into side plank right arm on the floor right hand on the floor and go into crunches left knee to left elbow pull your belly in and lift your hips as high as you can the right wrist is directly underneath the right shoulder exactly 90 degree angle between the body and your arm let's switch now we're bringing right knee to left elbow trying to keep the balance here 
aligning your wrist underneath your shoulders is essential for the health of your wrist so make sure you can check in a mirror or ask someone to tell you if you're aligning properly and when you're done you can walk your feet to the center of the mat and wrap your wrists around your elbows hang upper body is hanging here great and you can reach in front of you with your hands stretching the back and now step back into downward facing dog Now let's jump the feet forward into chair pose. Clasping the hands behind you one more time, press the wrist away from you, take the right leg all the way back into high lunge and look up open the chest. Slowly lower your upper body down towards your left ankle, forehead towards the ankle and keep pressing the hands away from your back. Coming back up and we're gonna face the left leg and open the chest towards the wall to your left. Coming back to center, inhale your hands over your head, exhale your hands on the floor, step your feet together the front of the mat, chair pose. One more time clasping, this time changing the clasp and take your left leg back high lunge look up open the chest up slowly begin to lower your chest down forehead towards the right ankle hands are pressing away from the back opening softening freeing the shoulder the front of the shoulder press the back heel away from you for balance slowly coming up Facing your right, twist, hands are still pressing away from your back, soften your shoulders, look up. Coming out of this, inhale your hands over your head, exhale them on the floor and let's step the feet at the front of the mat, chair pose, sitting as far back as you can, inhale. Coming up, arching. And coming up to standing mountain pose. Big breath in, hands over the head. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, look ahead of you. And let's jump. We'll walk to Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, Chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes up. Step the right foot between your hands. Bring the back heel down on the floor. Warrior one. Sink a little deeper here. Hands over the heart and let's open into warrior two. Sink a little deeper in your warrior two. Hands behind you, interlacing the fingers, open the chest. And now lower your torso over your right thigh. Side angle with the clasp behind you, really lengthening both sides of the torso here. Keep pressing into the outer edge of your left foot. And you can extend your hands in front of you, using your core. Great, bring the hands down on the floor and you can even lower onto your elbows here. Lower the back knee on the floor, walk your back knee as far back as you can and breathe here. We're building up heat, warmth here and at the same time we're stretching. So we're developing flexibility, strength and cardiovascular capacity at the same time. And you can roll onto the outer edges of your feet here. You should feel it in your right hip. This is a great hip opener. If you feel like it, you can pause the video and hang here for a little longer if you have the time. 
the sequence is designed for before work wake me up type of sequence so that's why I didn't stay for as long as usual and lower down into chaturanga upward facing dog back to chaturanga and exhale downward facing dog let's take the left leg up bring the left foot between your hands come up warrior one extending the tailbone down sink a little deeper here bringing the right hip forward and let's open into warrior two stepping the right foot a little further back to take a little wider stance here sink a little deeper clasp behind you open your chest lift through your heart up towards the ceiling keeping both sides of the torso lengthening here lower down side angle opening that right shoulder up towards the ceiling right rib cage is opening keep your stance a little deeper here and release your hands ahead of you this develops core strength great both hands on the floor lower the right knee down and lower down onto your elbows if you have the flexibility for this hold here and breathe into your hip hamstrings quadriceps hip flexors softening keep your exhalations complete and let's roll onto the outer edges of the feet here breathe experiment with this pose see where in what position it works for you you will find sweet spots in it great and slowly coming onto the hands stepping back plank lower down chaturanga inhale tuck the tailbone under upward dog chaturanga exhale downward facing dog spread the fingers open and we're gonna do 20 hops on the outside of the mat in plank 20 star plank jumps do as move as quickly as you can keeping your belly tight your hips level counting only when the feet are out if you need to take a break do that once you're done upward facing dog back to chaturanga and exhale in downward facing dog pressing the tailbone high spread the fingers open look ahead of you bring the ears between the triceps and let's bend the knees and jump into chair one more time deep chair pose and inhale coming up to standing arching hands over the heart let's bring the hands on the lower back fingers pointing up elbows working towards each other press the hips forward going into a standing back bend keep pressing your hips forward here and your lower back is lifting away from your fingertips if you can you can walk your hands down your legs towards the calves to come out of this take your time slowly coming out of this up to standing reaching over the head exhale dive down forward bend inhale look ahead of you hands on the floor jump into chaturanga inhale upward dog back to chaturanga exhale downward dog inhale right leg comes up step your right foot between your hands lower the back heel down warrior one sink a little deeper in your warrior exhale your hands behind you open your chest 
lift through your heart and let's straighten the front knee and open the chest going into a mild back bend one more time legs are straight great prepare for triangle feet alignment opening the right foot directly forward reaching through the crown of the head here lower down both sides of the torso are lengthening clasping the hand behind great and you can release into triangle pose lifting the arches of the feet extending the left arm over the head bring the other arm forward come up warrior two sinking as deep as you can here all the way up to bringing the thigh to parallel to the floor bringing the femur to parallel great let's bring the hands down on the floor start alignment fingers po pointing towards each other and jump the feet forward and back 10 times keeping your belly tight and once you're done moving through a vinyasa upper dog chaturanga back to downward facing dog inhale left leg comes up step your left foot between your hands come up warrior one exhale your hands behind you clasping open your chest sink a little deeper And let's straighten the front leg and open here looking up great come up to standing the feet are in triangle pose alignment hinging at the hips begin to lower down clasping with your hands using your core using your breath the legs are working here the arches are lifting engaging the quadriceps looking up lengthening Release one hand down and extend the right arm up and over your head. You can reach with both hands forward. Keep your belly in, come up to standing and warrior two. And let's lower the head and start alignment. Step your feet back. To the side standing on the side of your right foot and jump your feet forward and back 10 times try to keep your breath strong or steady and jump as quickly as you can once you're done moving into a vinyasa plank chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog inhale right leg comes up here you're gonna bend your right knee and see if you can grab your right foot with your right hand left hand in the center of the mat and now switching hands right hand on the floor left hand right foot focus on the gazing point and come into a plank here do your best even open your leg up right lower down this is a challenging balancing pose it doesn't look like much but it's quite challenging let's inhale the left leg up bending the knee left hand left foot do your best let 
your eyes fix on a gazing point and change sides, right hand, left foot. Try to find some form, form of a plank here. Lifting the leg behind you. And release. Let's bring the knees down on the floor and lower your chest down on the floor. This is a back bend that we tend to do quite often. Great. The next pose is a bit advanced. So maybe try to see it first before you attempt to do it. We're gonna go into either full lotus or half a lotus or if you can do lotus you can just come into sukhasana easy pose any easy pose from here we're gonna point the fingers back at us elbows are coming below the belly and begin to shift your weight forward lifting your legs off the floor And release back into a cross-legged seated or lotus pose with a forward bend of us, legs extended, inhale your hands up, exhale forward bend, paying attention to your exhalations here, softening your hamstrings, flex your feet and pull your toes back in towards you, inhale coming up and let's bring the feet together little further away from you than for Baddha Konasana and with your elbows here you're gonna press your calves down and lower your forehead to your feet make sure that you, there is a form diamond shape form between your legs here great moving on right leg extended left leg grabbing the left foot with the hands and extending here and we're gonna bring the knee behind the shoulder right hand left foot extending moving into an arm balance chaturanga and lower down and let's switch sides, we're gonna grab the right foot, straighten the leg, let's bring the knee behind the shoulder or behind the elbow and straighten and from here moving into an arm balance we're gonna wrap the feet around each other, lifting the bum off the floor and lowering down into chaturanga alignment hands slowly lower down and let's round the back and slowly lower down we're gonna lay on our backs right knee into the chest, exhale your right knee across, shoulders down, supine twist coming out of this switching side, left knee, exhale twist, look over to your left inhale coming out of this and let's bring the soles of the feet together and 
hands behind the head lift your legs off the floor press your lower back into the floor reach in front of you and we're gonna go into very slow bicycles opposite elbow to knee extending the legs in between the point here is to keep your belly in the whole time try not to let your stomach pop out try to press your belly down press the lower back into the floor and this should be very very challenging if you're doing it the right way again opposite elbow to need drawing the stomach in here keeping the belly in bicycle slow bicycle back to center and you can lay down prepare for bridge pose feet parallel to each other lifting the hips of the floor lift as high as you can feet are hip width apart bringing the chest in towards the chin to lower down slowly lower down and you can bring your hands on the floor elbows on the floor fish pose open the chest back bend and release you can bring your hands over your head point your toes and stretch your belly here hug your right knee into the chest draw a few circles with your right knee stretch your hands over your head left knee circles bringing the circles into the hip joint stretching over the head one more time right knee in circles stretching over the head and left and let's bring the soles of the feet together lower the feet down on the floor open the chest drop the shoulders down supine butterfly pose allowing the breath to come back to natural normal you can stay here or you can extend your legs one at a time for a quick shavasana depending on the time you have available you can stay here for as long as you need to if you're doing this before work you can come into a seated easy seated pose for a quick meditation quieting the breath and observing the breath namaste have a beautiful day